Hello everyone! We are excited to announce a major update for our Formaco 20 SDI, 30 SDI, KN20A and KN30A PTC cameras, the AI tracking feature. This feature uses monocular tracking, meaning it tracks objects in 2D space with just one camera. It detects and follows objects, estimating movement and orientation without the need for multiple cameras. Without further ado, let's dive into how this tracking works and go through a step-by-step -step guide on how to use it. First, let's look at the tracking shortcut keys F1 to F4 on the remote control. F1, disable AI tracking. F2, enable AI tracking. F3, switch to real-time or region tracking. And F4, switch tracking target. Okay. Next, let's take a look at the more advanced settings available on the web interface. We can log into the camera's IP address via a web browser from a computer connected to the same local network. Navigate to the tracking settings and scroll down. The first section is monocular tracking where you can enable and disable AI tracking. I will explain how to use zoom tracking shortly. In presenter mode, camera will always track the subject in real time. This is the most commonly used mode. The track subject can be set as close, half, and full. If you enable click track, you can switch the tracking target by simply clicking on different person. The second section is advanced settings. If you enable tracking tips, a prompt will appear in the top left corner of the screen whenever tracking is turned on or off. Enabling human frame will show a real-time outline of the person being tracked on the screen. If you turn it off while live streaming, viewers won't see any of your tracking operations. If auto zoom disabled, the camera won't zoom in or out during tracking, allowing you to control the zoom manually with the remote control. Similarly, if auto tilt is disabled, the camera will not tilt up or down while tracking. When the track person moves out of the camera's range, you can choose to have the camera automatically return to the home position or remain in place until the person reappears. The final section is zoom tracking. Let's start by setting up the four region positions. Zoom tracking should be configured from left to right with a slightly overlap between regions to ensure smooth transitions. This feature is typically used for tracking in fixed areas such as a teacher at the front of the classroom. To protect students' privacy, the camera's tracking zoom can be limited. As long as the teacher stays within this zoom, the camera will follow them. If the teacher steps outside the zoom, the tracking stops, ensuring that students don't appear in the camera's frame. That concludes our overview of the new AI tracking feature and settings. I hope you find these tools useful for enhancing your tracking experience. 
If you have any questions or need further assistance, please feel free to reach out. Thank you for joining us today.